Hi, I'm Jack, and this is episode 10 of Turning On to Harbor. So Disneyland Paris is located in Marna la Vallee, which is 20 miles from Paris and about a 30 minute train ride from downtown Paris. There are two parks, the first one being Disneyland Paris, which opened in 1992. And then there's also Walt Disney Studios, which opened in 2002. Walt Disney Studios is home to such rides like Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, and the Ratatouille ride that has just recently come to the park. Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster are replicas of the parks in the United States, but there is also a lot more to offer in Paris, such as Toy Story Land. Some other rides that are the same in Disneyland Paris are Big Thunder Mountain, Star Tours, but then there's also some variations on rides. Obviously they're all a little bit different, but some of them more than others. Like Space Mountain 2, which according to some people is even better than the Space Mountains in the United States because of the different effects and examples that are used, such as like neon lights and giant comets exploding. Leo from Thingamavlogs described it as more of a space feel than the other Space Mountains. It just feels much more spacey and much faster. It's much more of an involved ride and really drives home the space theme. There's also Alice's Curious Labyrinth, which is kind of like a hedge maze, which gives you a beautiful view of the park. You can actually walk through the entire castle that is the at the end of their main street. And the castle actually has an animatronic dragon that is moving that you can actually go see. So you can go walk around that entire castle instead of walking just through it. They also have walkthroughs such as Swiss Family Robinson, Aladdin, and a couple more. There is a tour of the Nautilus, which is the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea submarine. And there's also, like I said before, a giant land in Walt Disney Studios Park called Toy Story Land that looks a little bit like Bugs Land, which is really cool. There are six Disney hotels that are within walking distance of the park. There are many different partner hotels around the area that run a little bit cheaper. And then there's also the Disney Village, which is kind of like downtown Disney. So one of the main reasons to go to Disneyland Paris in 2017 is they're doing a major refurbishment that is revolving around the 25th anniversary. To quote the Disney Tourist blog, part and more is dramatic refresh to the entire resort, which is currently undergoing a massive refurbishment project leading into its 25th anniversary in 2017. This is so massive it even has an official title called the Experience Enhancement Plan, with Disneyland Paris's website providing official updates to the attraction closers associated with EEP. The attractions and the experiences around them are going to be spruced up and put into tip-top shape. To quote Disney Tourist blog again, the park will look brand spanking new come April 2017. The tagline for the 25th anniversary is, it's time to sparkle, which seems fitting, end quote. Disneyland Paris is a really cool spot because it allows you to experience the culture that is around the European area that you are in. There are different parts of the ride that are in French and other European languages, but it's also in English too. For me, I would be excited to experience old rides such as the Tower of Terror because it is no longer at Disneyland Resort. I also love to experience Rock and Roller Coaster once again because I loved it so much when I went to Walt Disney World this last year summer. Disneyland Paris the park can be experienced within about probably one to three days depending on how long you have whereas the Walt Disney Studios can be experienced within probably half day which makes it pretty easy and more affordable. My thought is to do maybe one or two days at Disneyland itself and then do one half day at Walt Disney Studios and then explore the hotels or the downtown Disney or village district. In conclusion, Disneyland Paris is a place not to miss when you're traveling to Europe and is a perfect place for Disney super fans or tourists wanting to have a great time. 
So that is it for our informational episode 10 of Turning On To Harbor. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any tips and tricks for Disneyland Paris, make sure to leave them down in the comments. If you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at HarborPod, and we will see you guys next week. Hi mom and dad, thanks for watching this video. Love to go to Disneyland Paris with you, it'd be so fun, it'd be enjoyable. Alright, alright, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye, bye, bye.